to say I'm worried right now is an understatement. I'm actually feeling sick. These tracks start off so well and plenty of room to turn around. But then all of a sudden it gets really bad heading downhill and with nowhere to turn around, it's too late. This is what I'm dealing with at the moment. It just gets steeper and steeper going down. I managed to pull in here, I can turn around right here. But I still had to go through a bit to just scare the crap out of me and nigga. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this alone. That was silly. I should have done that in low range then. I did that in high range first gear and all I could smell the whole way up was clutch. It just made it. To say I'm worried right now is an understatement. I'm actually feeling sick. These tracks start off so well um, and plenty of room to turn around. But then all of a sudden it gets really bad heading downhill and with nowhere to turn around, it's too late. This is what I'm dealing with at the moment. It just gets steeper and steeper going down. I managed to pull in here. I can turn around right here. But I still had to go through a bit to just scare the crap out of me. And then go, I'll show you. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this alone. Here's the spot that I'm worried about. I just went down this and I'm gonna go back up it. If I had another person, I'd go in the middle there, ride the ruts, but I'm by myself. I've got no one to spot me. So I've got to go across here. But the trouble is this part right here, this route, my front wheel hit it coming down and it pushed my whole car. You can see the skid marks here where it slides cars into this hole here. Now coming down, um, it wasn't the awning side, but going back up, I'm gonna have the awning on this side, so I can't get as close to the tree as I did before. So I'm worried I'm gonna slip straight into there. This is scary, I'm in the middle of nowhere at the moment. This isn't a main track, I'm just trying to get to the bloody lake. I don't know this place. I can't even set up the camera to record it because it can't stop anywhere here. Um, my handbrake doesn't work, and I don't trust my manual leaving it in gear because it can roll and start itself. So I can't even stop anywhere to go back and grab the camera. So I'll stick this on the bonnet and hopefully make it. Shit, I'm scared. Let the air out of the airbags. I'm also gonna drop the tire pressures too. Just try and give me every bit of grip I can get. That's all I can do. 
I'm worried even if I get stuck, I can't hop out of my car to put the winch on either because my car will roll back. I don't know what to do. Well, that was absolutely terrifying. I was shaking, um, my heartbeat at the moment, 145. Oh, bloody hell. Thank God I made it. No more of these tracks for today. That's enough, just find a camp. I don't care where it is. I'm not gonna try and get to the spot I was trying to get to. Oh, I need to sit down, I'm about to pass out. That was scary. Uh, have a drink of water and keep going. It's gone three o'clock. I finally found somewhere to camp for the night. I'm gonna rest for roll, have a couple of beers, uh, rest my heart a bit. I was stressing that much before. I had a look at my watch. Maximum heart rate was 170. So I was stressing pretty bad. So relax a bit now, then I might go for a, a paddleboard and cool off because it's bloody hot at the moment. Uh, typical Sheffield's over any breeze. Back in South Australia, I had a uh, Adventure Kings paddleboard and I absolutely loved it. I did a review on it a couple of years ago. But when I moved over to WA, I can only move over here with what I could fit in the car. And unfortunately, I couldn't bring that with me. So I was lucky enough, four wheel drive super center provided me with another paddleboard and a 12 volt pump to pump it up. Let's get it set up. Paddleboard and 12 volt pump. Just unboxed it and unfortunately there's been a mix up. All Drive Super Center have accidentally sent me the kids paddleboard. So I won't be paddleboarding today. Uh, I've already spoken to them, they're gonna sort it out. They really apologized. Genuine mistake, it happens. I don't care. Oh, guess I'm going for a swim instead. Just been told for the inconvenience I can keep this kids paddleboard <laughs> so let's go have some fun on a kids paddleboard I'm liking this pump so far we'll test it out now all you do is set the pressure you want so this board can handle 15 psi so I've set it at 15 push start and let it go it'll stop automatically
That swim was so bloody relaxing, just what I needed. Even there, out of the water, the breeze on me, on my clothes, was just so refreshing. I'm just gonna kick back now, relax, enjoy a few beers, watch the sunset, catch you guys in the morning. Left camp early this morning, I want to find somewhere else tonight. I've come down to Minning Up Pools uh, near Collie. I've heard so much about this place, I had to come check it out for myself. The water is just incredible. Oh, I just jumped in, it's absolutely beautiful. The water is perfect as well. But I'm going to keep on going now, see where we end up today. Before I take off, yesterday when I was trying that kid's paddleboard, I could barely even keep it afloat, it was just sinking <laughs> with my weight on it. it just could, I couldn't handle my weight at all, so I can't use that at all. So I've decided. I'm gonna give it away right now. There's some kids over next to me. Uh, I'm gonna blow it up now for them and then I'll just go give it to the kids and they can have some fun with it. Early Christmas present. Well, I found my camp for the night. I'll go somewhere else again tomorrow. Each day I'll go somewhere different. Got my own little private beach here. Hoping I'll have a camp here. <laughs> Could, couldn't see any signs saying I wasn't allowed to. Already set up. Straight across there is the mining up pool where I just was as well. So I was actually parked, I walk up this little hill here. Beautiful little spot. Hope there's some good fish here too. Just down there, you can see all the paddle boards and everything. That's the king's paddle board down there that I just gave someone. Um, yeah, that's just where I was. So I'm just down the river. Look at this, I still see the bottom of the river. Hopefully nice little spot fishing right here. Give it a try soon anyway. But I'm starting to dry off, so I'm gonna jump back in the water soon and crack a beer because it's lunchtime. Nice and cool, time to relax, crack a beer. Perfect weather to be out here. I've literally been in the water all day. I've uh, just been sitting in the water, in the chair, drinking beer, and I got absolutely roasted. I put sunscreen on like five times today. Didn't help, still got really burnt. Still had an awesome day. It's getting later now, it's about four o'clock. Sun will be going down soon, so I'm trying to dry off. Um, when the sun does go down a bit more, I might throw the rod in for a bit, and then we'll see where we end up tomorrow. This has been the best day, so relaxing, just doing absolutely nothing at all. Oh. I was going to kick back now, no more fishing for the day, just relax and watch the sunset. See where we end up tomorrow. Oh, I'd changed my mind and I'd planning on spending the day in that same spot because it was a beautiful spot, I had it all to myself, really nice and private. Uh, just then though, I had two cars just rock up, park within five metres of my car and set up right next to me. So there's <laughs> no way I was gonna stay there. That's quite rude. People in WA I've noticed they're quite rude. Uh, they don't give a shit. So yeah, now I'm just gonna go find somewhere else to go swimming. I jumped in the water then. It's only like 9, uh, 9.30. It's already bloody warm. So I might go to another lake and then after that might even go to the beach, see where we end up. So 
some awesome little campsites through there. There's about two or three of them. The trouble is, the tracks, they're walking tracks. That was real scratchy, scratchy tracks, really tight. Really put the Raptor to the test. I've got a, quite a few new scratches along it. Oh well, that's what the Raptor's for. I'm on a scenic drive that goes about 7Ks along the Collie River at the moment. Just pulled over, I found a little lookout. Probably about 50 metres down to the river down there. Not a lot of water in there at the moment. Still, beautiful sight though. Hear that noise, the bugs? I'm not used to hearing that in South Australia. For the last couple of weeks, I've heard it driving past so many trees. I thought it was a noise echoing off my car. I thought it was an issue with my car. I could not work it out. I thought, what the hell is it? Every time I stopped, like, yeah, I never thought about turning my motor off. And then I turned the motor off like yesterday. I'm like, I can still hear it. Hang on, you bloody idiot. It's bugs in the trees. It's so sound like a noise on my car. <laughs> Keep going. Only 100 meters down from that lookout. Beautiful campsites like this. Plenty of shade. And look down here. This river is just so gorgeous. Uh, fallen tree here. And look at how clear that water is. Stunning. One thing I've noticed though, unlike the Blackwood River where I was a few weeks ago with Reese Adventures, I stuck the camera in the water at multiple spots there, and there was fish absolutely everywhere. The water's really clear here, and all the snags I've been looking for trying to find fish swimming, and there's been no fish at all, nothing bigger than just little minnows. Where are all the bloody fish here? I've heard this heaps of fish. So I see trout and plenty of redfin here as well. People catch them, so they must be here, but I have to get some of the locals to show me where. I'm gonna keep going. Look at that. Would be cool camping here. There's a walking trail though that goes straight through this campsite. So if there are any bushwalkers and you haven't go straight through your campsite. I've come about another kilometer down the road. The campsites here are just awesome. Plenty of shade. Gum trees, I don't like camping on gum trees. Uh, limbs always break and yeah, bad things can happen. But another nice little spot. Lots of snags again. Be good fishing in here. If I just wanted to fish today, I'd stay somewhere like this. But I'm hoping I can, yeah, at least go swimming again. 37 degrees. I want to get wet again today. It's going to be bloody hot. I see bubbles coming up from over there. Probably some marron here as well. Um, only another week or so, two weeks, marron season opens. So I'll find out to catch a marron. I'm looking forward to trying it. I've never tried it yet. One of the reasons I've come here. This place is just so beautiful. I can't believe it's home now. This is only an hour drive from where I live. Look at this, rocks in the middle. Murray River never had anything like this back in South Australia. Very shallow though, you can see the rocks right in the middle here. I can see rocks all the way through. Listen to the birds. So peaceful. how good the old Toyota handbrake is. So they be able to stop then and get out and get the camera again. <laughs> I had to stick a rock under the wheel. I gotta do this so often. And just hope it doesn't move while I get back in the car. I literally had no idea the river turned into something like this. This is, I can't even describe how beautiful it is. I'll get the drone up and show you because the camera just doesn't do it justice.
This is definitely the most picturesque bush camp I've ever seen. You can hear the water flowing in every direction you look. It just, the scenery gets better and better. And you can just walk for age along the bank here as well. The scenery just keeps changing. Oh, I actually see fish down there. First time I've seen fish. They're red fin, but they're only about 10 centimeters long. Wow, I actually see fish. Oh, I see a marin. Come winter time, I'll be parking the Hilux right here with the water just here. Oh, I can't wait. This place is amazing. I'm gonna walk down to this next one. It's on a power line track, so of course it's gonna be gnarly. <laughs> this is already one bit holes. Let's see what it looks like. Hopefully it's only a short walk, doesn't look far on the map. Ah, I know this place. I actually had one of my subscribers come visit me last night at my campsite. We, he stayed for three, four hours. We had a good old chat. He was telling me uh, down the river further that there was actually a place you could cross. There was no bridge, but it was the only place you could cross. <laughs> I don't know if I ever thought we'd do it in the Hilux, eh? Check this out. Homemade bridge. That track, probably 50 meters up there, is where I was yesterday. Um, well, at yesterday morning where I was camped the first night, that's where that track went along. So this is the only place around here where you can actually cross it without going 15 k's that way and across the main bridge. Yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't try it. Back in Bustleton now, my local beach, this is Wanner Up Beach. It's the closest beach I can go to um, that I can drive my car on. There's plenty of other beaches I can pull up to, walk onto the beach, uh, but I've got no shade. So I like to have my car here with a decent amount of shade. Already got burnt yesterday. So, time to kick back, have a beer. I can't camp here, unfortunately. It's a day visit only. So I can't have too many. Probably this will be my only one. But it's bloody hot. I think it's time to go for a swim. Today is Christmas Day. I've been trying to distract myself. That's why I've come camping this weekend. My kids are still 3,000 k's away, or three and a half thousand. So it's the first year I haven't been able to see my kids at Christmas time. So it's been a pretty hard year for me. Um, looking forward to getting my son over here, but it's still gonna take a few more months. Um, I've rang him, he's had a great Christmas. And I hope you all had a great Christmas as well. I hope you've enjoyed this little adventure, completely random adventure. Each night, didn't know where I was going to end up, but it's been a great time anyway. I um, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. But thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.